so this is our route today. So we're at Cow Bridge. Yep. You want to cross that bridge there and then basically straight up the wood there mm -hmm. and hit this green path here and then follow this and the first kind of port call is Hartsop above Cow. Then we want to carry on then to Hart Crag and then take a left over to Dove Crag. Um, carry on round there, uh, past Bakeswans Moss, um, Black Brow onto Little Heart Crag, and then to High Heartsop Dodd, and then down this tongue here, down to the old settlement, and then follow Brothers Water back to Cow Bridge. Perfect. So there's absolutely no way whatsoever we can get lost at all. Mm -hmm. But anyway, um, yeah. we'll see, we'll see. Let's go. Lake District. It's been absolutely ages since we've been out in the hills. Um, we've had loads to do at home and that, so we've not really been anywhere. Um, so today um, we're in um, Patterdale and we're doing the Dovedale round. And as usual, Sue's here. Um, she's got the map because uh, today we're doing five Wainwrights. Uh, the first one is Hartsop over Howe. Yep. And then we're going on to Heart Crag. Yep. Is it? Yep. And then Dove, uh, Dove Crag. Yeah. And then dropping down to Little Heart Crag. Little Heart Crag. And, and then, then High Hartsop Dodd. High Hartsop Dodd. And is that it? And then back down to settlement past and Brothers And then we're Water. back to Brothers Water and then back to the car park. We parked at the Cowbridge car park, which was quite good because there's a few parking spaces there. As usual, whatever she is, Jin's somewhere. But we've got an ultra special guest with us today, and that's Jin's mum, who's usually at university, but today she's joined us to do this walk. And here she is, Lucy. Say hello, Lucy. Hello. <laughs> so this is Lucy who's joined us today. If you want to walk that's steep up at the beginning, this is it. Because, wow, that was steep up. We've had to stop to get our breath before we carry on up that hill up there. And then once we get to the top, I think it's a bit easier, easier playing sailing up there. So, uh, yep, yeah, there's Jin, look, doing a very picturesque pose over Brothers Water. So, yeah, keep tuned. I think it's going to be a fabulous day. What do you think, girls? Absolutely. Definitely. Cool up a bit now and got our first proper sight of um, Dove Crag. And um, we we'll just see the priest hole as well. And um, we'll spin you around in a minute. And I don't know if you can see it with this camera, but we can give it a go. Um, so we're just going to come up to Hearts Up Over Howe in a minute. Um, it's our first way in right. And then um, Hart Crag, which is just beyond that. If we can remember these names are being called all sorts of things, like we always do. Um, but I'll just, I'll just spin you around. I don't know if you can see the priest hole. There's like a bit of a green ledge and you can just see a black hole that you probably not be able to see it from from there but anyway let's there we'll have a close look when we get to it lucy's doing great she's enjoying it and gin's doing really well as well so uh, yeah what do we say susan onwards and upwards that's it one girl and a dog on yet another adventure so we're here on our first first Wainwright of the day, which is a Horton Here's a Who. Um, I think it's called, is it girls? Not quite. Does it know what's it called? Um, Hearts Up Over Howl. That's it. Um, we did pass another little cairn over there, which somebody's cunningly put some stones on. It looks like a cairn, but this is definitely a higher spot here with a, a cairn of three stones. So this must be um, Hearts Up Over Howl. So, yeah, no, lovely walk. It's starting to open up now. You can see uh, all's watching in the background there. Hopefully, we might try and get the drone up and do a, a shot around here. But if I spin you around here now, we've got, you can definitely see the priest hole there in Dove Crag, but we're heading up there to Hart Crag first. Uh, you can just see some critters walking up there. So, uh, yeah, all in all, a good start to the day. So, uh, I think we'll have a brew here and um, see what we can do. See you in a bit. So we're just at the foot of Hart Crag here. Um, Lucy's just found a, a proper route up because we've just kind of lost the path at the minute. And then we'll drop down that coal there 
and then up there onto Dove Crag. And Dove Crag looks pretty spectacular in the sunlight just in a minute. And then obviously follow that shoulder around there to the rest of the two Wayne rides to finish. So yeah, just one last little pull up to the top of there now and we'll uh, see what it's like up there. Four wheel drive needed. Watch Susan go. <laughs> We're at the summit. Oh no. It's just a bloody can. Oh man. Thought that was the top. No, we're not. Rats. I'll tell you what, girls. That was steep up then, wasn't it? It was. Jeez, hell. Oh. It won't look it on camera, but it no. is. No. So we're not far now. I think that's just something up there somewhere, so. Yep. Nearly there, girls. Keep pushing. Hey, Hart Crag. Um, so, coming up from Hartsop. Um, Hartsop. How? How? <laughs> Hartsop, how? It was a steep climb up. Um, it was, up above how, I think it was. up above how. It was a steep climb up, so we've actually had to have some lunch before we did this usual summit itself because it was a bit, uh, bit of a slog. So now <laughs> we're on part of the uh, Fairfield Horseshoe route. Um, so now we're going to kind of hang a left here and go over to Dove Crag and then up onto Dove Crag over the top and then turn left back down into Patterdale hopefully. So we'll have to keep an eye out for that left hand turn. Yeah. But up here it's just fabulous. You can see forever. Um, you've got Windermere and Coniston. S and right, Water. S -Wait Water. And right out to the sea over there. And you can just see a huge blot on the landscape there which is Heaston Power Station which looks beautiful. <laughs> so right okay so on now to uh, to Dove Crag catch up. So we've just left Hart Crag. Jin's just had her sandwiches so she's uh, she's feeling super fit at the minute and re-energised. So she's dashing about all over the place. Um, just on our way up now to Dove Crag. We're on the, the Furfield Horseshoe route at the minute so yeah, it has gone a little bit busier. Um, but we'll be soon heading off to, to the left to a drop down into Patton Hill. So. Obviously, we want that far from Hartcrag. Just a nice, easy stroll. Um, behind you, you've got Fairfield there. So now we just need to kind of look um, for the left hand turn back down into, into Patterdale. So you can see the path there. You can just see the path there. So, yeah, let's crack onto there. Down off Dove Crag, which is behind us there somewhere. And we've just, um, Lucy, found the path to the left that's heading us down to our next way and ride. Um, the views over this side are just stunning. Um, you know, Windermere and Coniston, and the Coniston Range, and then over to the Langdales as well at the back there. So, yeah, we're on kind of the homeward stretch now. Everybody happy? Yep. Are you sure? Yeah. Good. Jim happy? Jim's happy. Okay, catch you in a minute. Nice. <laughs> Made me laugh before. When I said it's like it's that sun, it's like being in Spain. And Lucy said yes, but without the S. Pain. <laughs> I get it now. Okay, here we are, little heart crag. Um, we've just obviously dropped down from Dove Crag behind us there. Um, and now we just need to set off following the this tongue down back into Patterdale, but you can see where we've been behind us and we've got red screes in front of us um, and obviously Kirkstone Pass beyond that so yeah but it's been a really good walk um, I would like to get the drone up here but I think it's a little bit too windy but anyway we'll give it a minute and see what happens but uh, yeah what a view yes. really nice I'll give you a full 360 if I can do it without falling over we've got Windermere behind us there and then those red screes behind us there and then coming around this side. You can't see Ullsworth, you see Patterdale in the background and the, the ridge that we came in on. And obviously Hart Crag and Dove Crag there in the background. So yeah, bonny spot. So on now to our last Wainwright of the walk, which is Lucy. 
Little hearts up. No, hi. Hi. Hearts up, Dodd. Hi, hearts up, Dodd, of course. So, um, one last push. And I should be there, but the view's behind us. I keep going on about them, but they are pretty good. So here we are on the last Wainwright of this uh, this walk. Uh, this is the last one of five. Um, this is High Hats Up Dodd. Yeah. Did I get it right? You did yeah. get it Excellent. right. Excellent. Um, so yeah, I thought it was a really, really good walk. Um, just got to go down this hill now, um, past Brothers Water and back to the back to the car park. And then what should we do then? Mm. Pub. Pub. See you in a bit. <laughs> okay guys, two things that have surprised me today. First thing, GoPro batteries. Usually, <laughs> when it's cold, I'll go through five or six. But today, because it's been quite warm, this is my third battery. That's about surprised me. Um, and why won't GoPro make it easy to get your batteries out when you've got a media case or whatever? Anyway, and the other thing that's really surprised me are my new Innovate boots from Kendall. Um, bought a new pair of boots um, on Monday morning with a pair of trainers as well and out of the box comfort you can't beat them brilliant how are yours susan yeah really good rate, rate them oh solid nine out of ten wow that's that's a that's a bold statement <laughs> um but yeah no my boots have been spot on uh, first time I'd, well, no, i walked to the pub in them yesterday but today i've walked all around here and they've been absolutely spot on um, but I think Lucy's boots have done a million miles as well, so she'll be able to... Crispy, crispy boots. You can't beat crispy boots either. No, but for lightweight summer boots, these are very good. I tell you what, it was steep coming up, and it's flipping steep coming down too. If you fell down here, I don't think you'd stop for a while. <laughs> so we've just come down off high, heart sock dod come down this rather steep hill there so I don't know about these two but my thighs are on fire at the minute uh, but we're not far to go looks like we've got to kind of go through that bridge there over that bridge and then follow that down down by the side of Brothers Water there and to the car park so yeah not far to go now We were just saying then, weren't we girls, that it's always as well, no matter what the weather is, before you set out on a, on a serious hike or a, a good walk, to check the mountain weather forecast out. Because it'd be so easy today to say, oh, I'll just got my shorts and t-shirt, because the lower we're getting now, the hotter it's getting. But when you're sat on the top, it was a little bit cool, wasn't it? Yeah. On the Met Office, it did say it was going to be quite cool on the top, so we did bring extra layers to, to change into when we got there. So even no matter what the weather is, if you think it's going to be absolutely fine, it's always as well to check the, the Met Office um, mountain forecast. So that's our top tip for the day. <laughs> she's running. Susan? Yeah? She's running down the hill. I know. Whew. She's younger than us. That's youth for you. Exactly. I don't think we'll be running down. I bet her knees aren't hurting like mine. <laughs> no, mine. <laughs> Come on. Okay, guys, uh, walk review. Um, so that was the Dovedale round. Um, so, what do you think, guys? Yeah, it's good. It was really good. I don't know if it's not because we haven't done a walk for a while, but it's quite tough. Yeah, it was. It was very steep up. 
It's very steep down. And very steep down as well. Best bits. Bits everything uphill. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, now the views were good though, weren't they? At the yeah. top, it was excellent. And a nice breeze on the top, so. <laughs> yeah, I think Dovedale Round's a good, a good walk if you like to get elevation quick and lose it quick coming down, but uh, all in all? Yeah, really good. Cool. <laughs> okay, just to look back from where we've um, come from, uh, we went up this, this shoulder here, right up onto the top there, and followed the ridge round right over there to Hart Crag and then looking where well, you can't see the priest hole now which is about there up onto Dove Crag there and then follow that ridge round there up onto High Hatsop Dodd. High Hatsop Dodd and down that really steep shoulder there and just back over the, the bridge there so that is the Dovedale round sleep up Steep down. That's where we went. That's where we started. It is. So what's up? What we've some it's yeah, seven point nine eight. Stop that and save it. Seven point nine eight. You've done the set? Yeah. Eight point zero eight. Well, and that's that's Apple. Not Black. Strava. No. I'm an Apple. So you've done more yep. this time. Mm -hmm. How bizarre. What's your elevation gain? 7,400. No. 7, 000, 2, yeah. 2,743 feet. 2,712. <laughs> Never enough. No. 2,712 feet. I can't read it. There's <laughs> no glasses on. <laughs> no. Can't find it. Can you not? Have to find it then. Thank you. 